Hi, and welcome back to this week's Parsha Shir on Sefer Mayan Beis HaShoeva. Perhaps the most famous incident in Parsha's Balak is the incident of the donkey opening its mouth and speaking. A strange phenomenon, a supernatural phenomenon, a phenomenon that doesn't fit into the natural course of the world that Hashem created. Which is why, of course, Chazal believed that the Piha Asan, the donkey opening its mouth, the supernatural miracle, was already something embedded in the creation of the world, in Maisa Beratius. In the DNA of the way the world was supposed to unfold, it was already predestined that this donkey should open its mouth in this particular moment in reaction uh, to this Bilam uh, mission to curse the Jewish people. Of course, the opening of the mouth uh, comes in reaction to Bilam hitting the donkey with his stick. The donkey is on its way to take Bilam to curse the Jewish people. The donkey, of all people, not Bilam, but the donkey, sees the Malach Hashem blocking his way, as if to say this is not the right mission, this is not the right action, you cannot curse the Jewish people. The Malach blocks his way. And because of that, the donkey tries to go left, the donkey tries to go right. Eventually, the donkey presses Bilam's leg to the wall and hurts him. In reaction to that, the Pasuk tells us that Bilam takes the stick, Bilam gets upset and he hits the donkey with the makel. And it's in response to that, Hashem opens the mouth of the donkey, Vatomer Lebilam. He says to Bilam the following words. Now, the, the idea that the donkey opens its mouth, the idea that the donkey talks, the idea that the donkey sees what Bilam doesn't see, has so much to say about that and so many drushes involved in that. But what I want to point to today is actually the words that the donkey says. The famous words, Me asisi lecha ki kisani ze shalosh regalim. The donkey says to Bila, What did I do to you that caused you to hit me these three regalim? All the Mepharshim jump upon these words. Why does it choose to say ki kisani ze shalosh regalim instead of shalosh pe'amim? Torah could have simply said, the donkey opens its mouth and says, Why did you hit me three times? But it doesn't say that. Why did you hit me three regalim? Three legs, three times, three um, instances. It's a strange word to use. Rashi very famously comments over here, and he says, Ze shalosh regalim, ramazlo ata mevakesh lakor uma hachogega shalosh regalim. What the donkey was saying by using the word shalosh regalim is not just pointing to Bilam saying, what did I do to you that caused you to hit me three times? Not just three times, but what he was sending to him by using the word shalosh regalim is a message that how could you ask me to take you on a mission to continue down this path against the Ratzon Hashem, against the Ratzon of the Malach Hashem, to curse a people that celebrates the shalosh regalim, Pesach, Shavuos, and Sukkot uses the term Shalosh Regalim specifically in order to hint to the Shalosh Regalim of the Jews. A very strange phenomenon. What does one have to do with the other? What does the fact that Jewish people celebrate the Shalosh Regalim have to do with this particular incident of Bilam and the donkey? What did it have to do with the particular refusal of the donkey to go and curse the Jewish people? Right? It seems like what Chazal are putting into the words of the donkey, into the words of the, the mouth of the donkey, are words which indicated to Bilam, how could I take you to curse the Jews? The Jews are very special people. So it could have pointed to many traits of theirs. Oh, you can't go curse the Jews. How could I take you to curse the Jews? There are people who is protected. There are people who is eternal. There are people who are good warriors. There are pe they are people who could curse you back. And he could have said many things. But the particular trait of the Jewish people that the donkey points to is that they keep the Shalosh Regalim. That argument was supposed to convince the donkey not to go, or that there's good reason not to go. What is behind that argument? What is behind the fact that Jewish people keep the Shalosh Regalim that was somehow supposed to teach Bilam a lesson? Tzarek Biur says the Mayan Beis HaShuvah. Rav Schwab says this requires explanation. Why point to this specific maila, this specific trait and accolade of the Jewish people that they keep the shalosh regalim? Of course, we have to understand that in these words, Saha has an indication of why, not just that, but why the donkey was refusing to go and curse the Jewish people. It wasn't just saying to him, no, I refuse to go. It was saying to him, there's a reason why I refuse to go, and that reason is somehow connected to Jewish people's observance of the Shalosh Regalim. 
to understand that, says the Maya Mishra, we have to take a step back and analyze the Gemara and Sota. Kine be Gemara Sota, Mavor Shim Yashte Bate Knesios, Achas Krova Lebeso Vashnia Yose Rechoka, Roi Lelechas the Rechoka, Umekaba Baza Schar Psios. It's a halacha. There are two shoals, one close to your house, one far from your house. It's better to take the longer walk to the further shoal in order to get what we call colloquially schar alicha, or according to the Lashon Gemara, schar psios, some reward for the many steps that you take. But yesh lahayer, it says, my in base of Shoei, well, we have a question on this Gemara. Al mashalo matzino inyan zeetzel shar mitzvos? Sharei lo shamanu meolam shim yesh lo laadam shtei sukos, achas krov achas rechoka, sheroi lalechas lo rechoka. V'chein kasav amaral, shedin zeeinu nog ela bahalicha lebeis haknesas. What's the idea of this Gemara and Sota? Why should you get Schar Halicha by going to the further shul? That seems like a unique halacha in all of, of Shas, all of halacha. You don't find this by any other mitzvah. You don't find it by a sukkah. You have two sukkahs, one close and one long. So you never have a halacha that tells you to go the further sukkah because you might get Schar reward for walking the further distance to perform the mitzvah. No, it seems to be unique halacha about going to shul. Vinira, Rav Shwab says it seems, Shebe'emes ikar inyan shel schar psios, novea me mitzvahs aliyo l'reg. Perhaps we learn the halacha about schar halicha, about schar psios, specifically in relation to walking to shul, as opposed to walking to perform another mitzvah, it's because we learn the concept of schar psios from aliyo l'reg, the mitzvah of going to Yerushalayim l'shol shrigon. Shaholchi mirachok lebeis hamikdash, we come from very, very far away to visit the Beis HaMikdash and offer our korbanos. We have many different psukim which point to the schar, the great mila, the great reward, the great accolade of walking a great distance, of walking in specific to get to the Beis HaMikdash. Like it says in Tehillim Kuv Chavdeis, Beis Hashem, Hashem, Neilech. We will go, we will walk to the base Hashem. Walking is something to be praised. Or in Shir Hashirim, Ma Yafu Pa'amayich Bana Alim Bas Nadiv, how beautiful it is when you walk to the palace of the prince, the princess, Beis HaMikdash. Velachin, and therefore, Shayach Inyan Zeh Gam Bebeis HaKnes, Shu Mikdash Ma'at, Avalo B'Shar Mitzvah. We find in Tanakh praise of walking to the Beis HaMikdash, walking on Aliyah L'Regel, and we extrapolate that to walking to shul, which is our mikdash me'at, our replacement, which is why the concept of schar psios applies only to walking to shul, not to walking towards other mitzvahs. Once we understand that from the um, from the mitzvah of aliyah l'regel and the psukim describing it, we learn that there's a concept of reward for steps in the good direction of the Beis HaMikdash, we can now take a step back into our Parsha of Balak to try to understand what the donkey was saying when he points to the accolade of Jewish people that they are people that keep the Shalosh Regalim. The connection of the Shalosh Regalim to this Bilan story is somehow in the concept of psios, of steps, of walking, of reward for walking in a good direction and of punishment for walking in a bad direction. This is the hint that the donkey was giving to Bilam. You want me, says the donkey to Bilam, to walk in that direction against the will of Hashem? I will not go one step in that direction against the will of Hashem. Because if we understand that every psia, every step in the direction of the Beis HaMikdash, every step in the direction of an encounter with God, every step in the direction of fulfillment of the Ratzon Hashem, gets infinite reward, schar psios. So we can extrapolate and say that every step, every psi in the direction can negate Ratzon Hashem, in the direction that goes against the will of God, against an encounter with God, against God's will in the world, has tremendous onesh, tremendous punishment. What the donkey was pointed to when it points to the schus, the merit, the accolade, the praise of a people, an amazing people, says the donkey to Bilam. You can't go curse them. They are incredible. They are a people who walk to the Shalosh Regalim. What he was really saying is, um, 
זכוסה של אומה זו החוגג השולש רגולם בשונה עם פסיוס בלתי ספורה של עלילה רגל לכבוד השם מספרה. You can't go against these people. This is a people that has a reservoir of incredible merit, of incredible reward, because these are a people who walk and walk and walk to come on עלילה לרגל to the base of Mikdash. It's a paradigmatic action. What the donkey was pointing out to Bilam is that in a paradigmatic way, Shalosh Ragalim represents the will of the Jewish people to follow the will of God, the will of the Jewish people to walk in the direction of God. And the donkey was saying to Bilam, I can't walk in the direction against God, to go against a nation that walks constantly in the direction of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because look at that. Look at that reward, look at that schus, look at that protection. I cannot possibly touch it. I cannot possibly go against it. That's the connection of the Shalush Regalim accolade to the particulars of the donkey's refusal to take Bilam on this mission to curse the Jewish people. The connection is psios, steps, steps in the right direction against steps in the wrong direction. Donkey says, I can't take steps in the wrong direction to go against a nation that constantly, throughout its history, took steps or will take steps in the future in the right direction. An amazing idea here, an amazing image that we can be left with from the Mayan Beis HaShoever, from the Rashi, from the Parsha, but the idea of steps, of where our feet take us, of where our steps take us, that every step in the right direction, no matter how much effort it takes, even to go to the further shul, even to come from all corners of the world, from the Beis HaMikdash to Yerushalayim, to follow the will of Hashem, those steps, as much effort as they take, are steps towards tremendous growth, tremendous merit, tremendous reward, tremendous protection for us. They build our spiritual aura, our spiritual muscle, and every step in the wrong direction, chas v'shalom, creates the opposite effect. Be so careful where our feet take us, where our actions take us, where we lead to in life. The whole concept of schar psios, a reward for walking in the direction that follows the will of Hashem is the reason why our entire guidebook for how to walk on that path of life is called halacha. Halacha from the word lalachet, to go, to walk. The halacha is the path that informs how we walk on the journey of life. Hopefully we can be successful at walking every step of that journey with purpose, with fulfillment, and with great sensitivity to the fulfillment of the Ratzon Hashem, never chas v'shalom walking in the opposite direction. Shabbat shalom.